Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, not long ago we did tease something that has to do with Keyshot 9 and today we're looking at Keyshot 9, the brand new version of Keyshot that has been released by Luxion and it comes with a couple of features. And one thing to note is that the features coming over to Keyshot are so stunning and I think they kind of solve a lot of problems and a couple of questions users have been asking over a period of time. So, let's get right into it. The very first key feature that has been made available by the guys at Luxion to Keyshot 9 is the GPU mode. So Keyshot now takes advantage of your GPU and it actually leverages the power of Nvidia RTX with optics to make your rendering way more real time and way more faster. So this is exactly something that we've seen in Marvelous Designer and with the new version you can now easily create stunning visuals and impressive images easily. Next up is the denoise. So just like we talked about the GPU, now you can leverage the power of the GPU to quickly denoise your renders. This is also available for both CPU and GPU. You can use the denoise function that now exists in Keyshot to get smooth, fast and beautiful renders. The denoise feature can easily be turned on and turned off directly in the viewport and you can see how quick and easy your renders are in real time. We already know that Keyshot is a ray tracing application and having the GPU feature directly in Keyshot is impressive. I can easily see how much people would embrace this new version of Keyshot and work with it. Now let's talk about something else that is also super super impressive and there's a brand new technology that the guys at Luxion have come up with and it is called the real cloth. Now real cloth is actually something that is much more of a procedural material that enables you to create woven fabrics and you know custom woven patterns directly on your model. This will increase how much sense of realism you're going to achieve when you're creating things that have to do with fabrics and also cloths. Now, imagine creating cloths directly in Marvelous Designer, V-Stitcher or Clo, or maybe you just go ahead and sculpt your clothes directly in ZBrush. You end up adding cloth textures and you're not actually adding the original weave. You wouldn't want to spend so much time going over to Houdini trying to create some sort of weave assets and all that stuff. Directly now in Keyshots, you can leverage the power of the real cloth procedural material and add detailed fabric patterns and detailed fabric you know feels to your model this in turn will increase how much quality you're going to achieve with your model one other thing to note is that for you to be able to get some very good results out of this you need to have a uv coordinate for the models that you want to work with for the pro feature you can go in there and make a couple of changes things that have to do with width you know pattern size and wraps and so on and so forth so real cloth is here and it is really really cool speaking about real cloth there is also one impressive brand new stuff that has also made its way to Keyshot 9 and I'm talking about nothing else than the fours. So there is now a brand new fours material that exists in Keyshot. So one of those times we did have a conversation where we talked about how you can create hair and how you can work with hair directly with clothes but then that is also going to be a time taking thingy. So instead of spending so much time trying to create hair in maybe another 3D app, importing that geometry over to Keyshot, trying to style that geometry and all that stuff, with a brand new force material that is coming over to Keyshot 9, you can now take advantage of the material graph to add hair, fuzz and you know play with both the density, how perfect the fuzz should look like, control the length, the randomness and style this thing exactly how you want. This is going to also increase how much realism you're going to get when you're working with objects and stuff like this directly in Keyshot. And speaking about materials, there is now a brand new generic BRDF material that exists for Keyshot. So now you can work with both clear coat, metallic and so on and so forth. So if you want to actually polish your material a little bit more, you can make use of the generic BRDF and work with this. And once we start talking about materials, then of course we'll talk about textures. And speaking about textures, there is now a brand new Substance Painter Import plugin that exists with Keyshot 9. So with the Substance Painter Import plugin, you can automatically generate Keyshot materials from your Substance Texture set and you can bring them directly to 
Keyshot. And also, Keyshot now supports Substance Painter set import. So you can now import the .sp files directly into Keyshot. And speaking about plugin, there is now a brand new plugin for the browser where Vs Teacher. So now you can literally send your apparel from browser web v teacher directly to keyshot and with all of these interesting new features coming over to keyshot it will be really really cool to start seeing amazing apparel renders online now let's talk about the motion ease so i've been very particular about how animations are done in keyshot and to see that they've actually worked on the animation side of things actually makes so much sense i'm very very excited about the new animation feature that has been added now you can simply ease in and ease out stuff add controls a longer curve and this also works for both materials and geometry so if you want to animate your materials and you want to also play with your geometries you can easily control how the animation works. This is a huge, huge game changer. There is just a couple of things that make so much sense. The web configurator has also been reworked and now there is a 3D model library. So in most cases, you probably want to do one or two things. You probably want to get a 3D model from a warehouse somewhere. You just don't know where to get this. With Keyshot 9, you can get as much models as you want that is now available in the 3d model library that exists on the cloud so keyshot now has a cloud repository where 3d models exist and all you have to do is just simply filter these things drag and drop them directly and the models will come in with both materials and textures there is a brand new contour texture so what this contour texture actually does is you can go ahead and put edges on any material so with the contour texture you'll be able to actually create flexible materials and put some sort of lines across this this would give a much more illustrator kind of effect on top of any material that you're working on to me this version of keyshot seems to pack a huge punch and i think it stands out as one of the tools for the day so we've covered a couple of rendering apps on the channel and there were certain times where i got to talk about keyshot some tools killing keyshot some tools living up and way above keyshot but now with this particular update i think keyshot still takes the touch and it's running really really fast i mean with the updates coming here and there and with these brand new updates that we're getting with this new release i think keyshot is ahead of the game in terms of rendering to me the gpu the denoise real clothes the force and also the contour and animation make a whole lot of sense this is something that i've been waiting for and if you want to get a copy of keyshot you can go over to the link which is going to be in the description if you want to also see the brand new features that have been made available by the guys at luxion link to that is also going to be in the description presently keyshot is supported for both windows and mac so just in case you want to get it and also there is a couple of plugins that is also supported for keyshot link to those things are also going to be in the description so you can check them out if you want to get free content that you would like to play with keyshot link to that is also going to be in the description and tell me what you guys think about this brand new tool coming from the guys at luxion and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace